from Southern Country Living and today I'm making two easy dishes. My first one is called Summer Corn Salad and it's a real easy uh, side dish. I think this would even be good for the 4th of July and uh, I'm going to be using uh, corn on the cob. You could also probably use frozen corn if you wanted to and you could probably also use canned corn if you want to. But uh, some people cook their uh, corn and some don't. And also in this uh, summer corn salad recipe, I'm going to be using cherry tomatoes. And I'm going to slice them in half. Also, I'm going to slice my mozzarella uh, cheese into little cubes. And also, I'm going to be using fresh basil. And uh, over here, I'm going to be making the uh, salad dressing, which is lemon juice, uh, olive oil, garlic. Also, I'll be using uh, kosher salt and um, cracked black pepper. And I'll put it in here and shake it up. Let me get started on my uh, summer salad. my uh, cheese uh, sliced into small cubes and I have my um, basil uh, chopped up and my tomatoes. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add in my tomatoes and my cheese some of my cheese wants to stay in the bowl <laughs> And now I'm going to be adding in my basil. So I'm going to mix all this up. And try not to make too much racket. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to mix up my salad. I'm going to take my fork and just kind of get that cooling up a little bit more. Okay. So now then I'm going to put in my uh, olive oil in my little jar with a lid on it. I'm going to put in my lemon juice. This recipe will be in the description below. Okay, so now I'm going to be putting in my garlic. And my salt and black pepper. Put my lid on and just give it a shake. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, I think that's good enough. All right, now then I've got my uh, salad uh, dressing mixed up. So I'm going to pour it over my salad. Okay, I'm going to do it. Kind of mix it up a little bit more. Get those tomatoes down in the bottom. <laughs> Let's do the taste test now. Okay, here we go. Mm. That is really delicious. You can taste that basil in there. Mm, it's very good. So, let me get started on my other quick and easy dessert. And um, I think it's going to be a real good one also. Okay, the dessert that I'm making today is called a mixed berry mini trifle. So the first thing I'm going to do is add my cream cheese. Then I'm going to add my powdered sugar. Okay, so I added my cream cheese and my powdered sugar, and I'm going to beat this until it's smooth. Okay, so now I'm going to be adding in my milk. and my vanilla flavoring. I'm going to be using these Twinkies, and they're the 4th of July Twinkies. And also, um, the recipe called for the Lady Fingers, but our store didn't have them. So I'm making this with Twinkies. And then I'll put a dollop of this uh, cream cheese mixture. Then I'll put a little blueberries. Now then I'm gonna put some more Twinkies on. Okay. 
And then I'll put in some strawberries. And these have been sitting in sugar for about 10 minutes. Okay. And so there is you an easy summertime trifle, mini trifle. Okay, let me do the taste test. Get some Twinkie and a blueberry. And a strawberry. Mm. That's very delicious. I want you to stub it off camera. Oh yeah, I love that. That's good. Calvin didn't like the uh, corn salad that much. He's not a basil friend. But if y'all are not a basil friend either, you can just uh, not put as much basil in it. And uh, put the dried basil in your salad dressing and shake it up. And just put a pinch in it or two and put it on your uh, corn salad if you're not a basil fan. So uh, I personally like dried basil better than I do fresh basil. But there's a lot of people out there that really, just really love basil. But uh, that's what I do different on this corn salad. And this naturally right here would be better after it got cold. But it's really good. So I think it's a cute little summertime uh, dish. And I hope y'all make both of these if uh, you're looking for summertime dishes. And so... Uh, do what you love and love what you do, and I'll see you on the next video.